Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retro Electors. And when you're playing the GameCube, you're stuck using one of these controllers, 10 foot cord length, and you're stuck at the console. The good people at Retro Fighters sent us over the Ballard GC for the GameCube, Wii, Wii U, and Switch consoles. The next revolution from Retro Fighters is here. The Battler GC is an ergonomically designed controller that is compatible with GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Switch, and PC. The Battler GC features pressure sensitive analog triggers, comfortable and accurate directional pad, and responsive analog sticks. Take your GameCube playing experience to the next level with 2.4 GHz wireless technology and 10 hour rechargeable battery. The Battler GC features 2.4 GHz wireless technology, pressure sensitive buttons, wireless vibration feedback, Compatible with GameCube, Game Boy Player, Wii, Wii U, Switch, and PC. Comfortable and accurate D-pad, offset analog stick placement, responsive analog sticks, dual Z shoulder buttons, wireless range of over 30 feet, and USB-C charging. Now, there are many ways to play the GameCube. You can use a wireless WaveBird, which I don't have, unfortunately. You could also use your standard GameCube controller. When it comes to controllers, I like to use something that's usually at least one-to-one -one in comparison to their actual standard controller. So let's open up the Battler GC to see if we have this one-to-one -one comparison when it comes to the actual GameCube controller. Inside the box, you're greeted with the Battler GC, some reading material, a wired USB-C controller charging cable, and your dongles, one that connects directly to your Wii or GameCube and your USB. The build quality is fantastic. I love the actual feel of it, much like their other controllers. Controllers. When it comes to Retro Fighters, they knock it out of the park when it comes to their ergonomic design. It's fantastic feel. I love the offset analog sticks. It's such a nice little refreshing take on the actual GameCube controller. Button placement is kind of one-to-one when it comes to the standard GameCube controller. The B placement on the Battler GC is a little bit close to where the C stick would be. So when you're touching the B button, it's actually really close. Your thumb, at least for me, is right up against the stick. It's a little bit, I'm sure, you know, button presses may come across the analog stick. I haven't come across that, but maybe somebody who has a bigger thumb might come across that. Whereas the GameCube controller, because the C stick is a little bit lower than the standard Battler GC, you don't have that issue of pushing the B and touching the C stick at the same time. The analog sticks feature your eight way directional pad, which is a fantastic touch that the original GameCube controllers had. Directional pads, pretty good when you roll them on your thumb. The dual Z trigger, if you're familiar with the GameCube, you usually only have the Z trigger on the right side but the ability to have it on the left as well is a nice little touch. Singing this up to the GameCube or Wii is pretty straightforward. You plug in the dongle and you just touch a controller button and it pretty much syncs right away. Your X and Y buttons are also the jelly button configuration that you had on the standard GameCube controller, which is a nice little touch. One thing they did change was the triggers that you do not have a click when you pull down on the R2 or L2 buttons. It's just a straightforward push down. There's no click at the very end. Playing games like Day of Reckoning, Resident Evil 4, or even Wind Waker, I found that the Battler GC actually really did hold up to the comfort and ease of use for an actual controller. Comparing it to the Duelist, the Switch and PC controller, your button layout is a little bit different. You have an actual C stick and it is offset like your GameCube controller, but it has a different overall feel. And I'd much rather the Battler GC's design and overall look as compared to the Duelist. Now that there's an actual replacement to the WaveBird, which is very expensive on eBay Money. nowadays, with the Battler GC, you're actually greeted with a nice ergonomic controller, but there are some gripes I have to it. When it comes to Retro Fighters actual triggers, your R2, L2, I find that on every controller, there is some sort of a little bit of an issue when it comes to it. They feel very cheap in comparison to the overall design of the controller. I find that they are ergonomically designed to wrap around your finger, but they're very cheaply done that I feel like if I were to drop it or a few game sessions, the springs inside may break. Another thing I don't like is the beat placement. It is exactly where it's supposed to be, but I feel that it is a little bit too close to the C stick or your right analog stick. I have my thumb pretty much right on it and it's touching it as we speak right now. Certain games, the analog sticks are a little bit too oversensitive, especially when you're playing a shooting game, a game like Resident Evil 4. I found that I was overcompensating the enemies on screen and I found that was a little bit off-putting.
But overall, I really do love this controller. It's overall design, especially for somebody like me who does not have a wave bird and has no other real good means of playing the GameCube or the Wii from a far distance. This is a great option to actually have in your arsenal. When it comes to controllers, nothing really beats your standard controller that's packed in with each console but a nice replacement from any third party company is a nice replacement. Please let me know what you guys think. Have you guys had your chance with the Battler GC? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite GameCube game is. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.